So the Los Angeles Lakers are sending away Marc Gasol, a 2024 second round draft pick, and bringing in Wayne Zalen? And now I've got a lot to say about this, but my first instinct is, I don't like it. And I'm sure we're going to have Lakers fans talking about, we're saving $10 million! And I'm always confused when you talk about that, because all that is is saving your billionaire owner money, so I don't really see how that's that much of a W. And I don't really like it because of what they did this offseason. They brought in Dwayne Howard. I like Dwayne Howard. I've always been the biggest Dwayne Howard defender. I never understood the hate for him. I don't get why athletes that are any type of emotional or have any, show any type of fun with the game, whether it's Ocho Cinco in football, Terrell Owens, or Dwight Howard in basketball, why they get so vilified. Dwight Howard, I'm going oh, to defend him for life. But at this point, people thought he was done when he went to the Lakers two years ago. He proved them wrong, which I was glad to see. But even when it got to the finals, they didn't really play him. And now he's two years older. He didn't look quite the same last year in Philly. So, it's, I like the pickup, but let's not act like he's going to be holding it down 30 minutes at night throughout the season at the center. You know, but he we brought in DeAndre Jordan. Oh, DeAndre Jordan on the team that was probably the thinnest at center in the league that was desperate for anyone that could play minutes at the center, and they still didn't use him in the playoffs. Oh, uh, well, that was Steve Nash being stupid. No, well, actually, they were historically great when DeAndre Jordan was off the floor. And when he was on the floor, they actually were outscored throughout the season. It's actually astounding how atrocious DeAndre Jordan is right now. How hor- how he's the worst player in the league. DeAndre Jordan is terrible. He's, I don't, he's just, he provides you nothing on basketball for at this point. And that's who you bring in. So you're just bringing in old names. And now you're trading away Marcus Gasol, the one big that could give you a little spacing, a little skill. Yes, he's old. He's old as well. He's flabby, but at least he gives you something different. He can still defend the post. We saw him have some good moments against Jokic and stuff like that during the late regular season. He gives you something different, and you're just giving him away, which I get long term. I guess you know you want to keep a little more money off your books, whatever. But it just seems like with all the moves they made this off season, trading weight. I mean, let's not like Kuzma, whatever. But basically, you just got got rid of your old. You're going all in right now. You're bringing in all old guys. Other than Malik Monk, who's on a one-year deal. You resign Town Horn Tucker. But generally, you're just going all in on this year, bringing in old guys, which I agree with. But don't, like, have, have like, get cheap at the end and try and, you know, just save a few dollars here by getting rid of Marc Gasol. But the only way I can defend this for the Lakers is possibly Marc Gasol wanted out. I don't think so, but it's possible. I don't think he is necessarily the biggest fan of Vogel and maybe even just the Lakers organization. He was pretty vocal about, not vocal about, he was vocal about when they brought in Andre Drummond, he was upset about that. Probably not rightfully so, but the fact that he was warming the bench after that, that I could see him being upset about that because he's still a guy, or at least he was last year, that could give you a good, valuable 15 minutes most nights. So I don't understand just getting rid of him. And now what for, this means for the Lakers, to me, Anthony Davis, you got to be playing the center the majority of the time. Let Dwight Howard come in and give you spells. But basically, whenever he, Anthony Davis is on the floor, I would be putting him at center. Not only because of who they have at center right now. I think Dwight Howard's a good backup at this point in his career. I think DeAndre Jordan is good nothing. I think he's horrible. But So basically, it should, to me, it should, be, it should be Anthony Davis playing like 30, 35 minutes a night at center, and then Dwight Howard playing the rest at center, or maybe th- throw a little small ball and you know try and put like a stretch for at center or whatever for a few minutes. But that should basically be the center lineup maybe because of who they have at center and because of the fact that when you bring in Westbrook, you want to have four shooters around him. And the fact that you could have Anthony Davis who's actually a true center and provides shooting, that's perfect. We saw the Rockets get rid of Clint Capella because they realized, oh, you need four shooters around Russell Westbrook. The way he plays, it's just what you kind of need to do to have him be as successful as possible in the team be, most likely. And now, instead of having you know a P.J. Tucker, basically a 6'5 guy playing at center because that was really the only other option, now you actually have a true guy center, Anthony Davis, who played center in the finals against the Heat. Now you have a true center that can actually space the floor for Westbrook. You got it. I know Anthony Davis doesn't like doing it. you got to suck it up. Get tougher. Play the center. I don't want to say he's not tough or whatever. He's a great NBA player, but you got to, you got to just accept the fact that you play at, at the center. But lastly, for the Lakers, it would be kind of ironic if Wayne Zalen, the guy I'm just saying, it's basically nothing. Wayne Zalen, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. It would be kind of ironic if he ended up being some great player because actually Mark Gasol's career kind of started beat by being a throw into a Pau Gasol trade. And people kind of thought, like, that was nothing of a, of a return. And then he turned out to be a great player. So you never know what could happen. But for the Lakers, I don't really understand the move. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.